back to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We have a bit of an update slash sort of just kind of, uh, I got a display for you guys to show off. I got a lot of stuff to show off in this video, so just stay tuned for whatever reason, man. But can you guys tell that it's 3 a.m.? I look exhausted, man. Jesus. Seriously though, it is late. This display update took me quite a while, and every single day my dog knocks over the crowd, man. I, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. It's driving me nuts, but at the same time, I've gotten in such a rhythm of setting the arena back up after it's knocked over that it doesn't even phase me anymore. However, man, today we're going to show off the new display. Very excited with the way it looks. I want to know your feedback on it, of course. And it actually, it hit me today while I was doing this display. I was like, damn, bro, we still haven't done the full collection video for 2022, so we got to get that video up very soon. But we also have a bit of a pick fed update for you guys. We're going to go through all those things. If you guys know, last Wednesday I said if Jeff Hardy debuted or if he showed up on AEW Dynamite, I would be putting up the pick fed by this coming weekend. I don't know if that's going to be the case, man. I worked really hard. I tried my best to do so. Still don't think we're going to make it, alright? We still have a little bit left, and then of course I do have to edit the show. And we've had some setbacks this week, man. So it doesn't look like it's going to make it. I'm going to do my best, but if I don't make it, man, it will be probably the middle of next week. So I do apologize for that, but at least it's coming, you know? I mean, that's that's all I can really say. It makes me feel like doggish, though, when I, when I say that I want to do something and want to get that up, and then it totally falls through, or that, you know, I can't quite make it. I, uh, I underestimate how long it's going to take, or I overestimate my own abilities. So that does suck when that takes place, man, but we are going to show off this collection over here, this new display that we got, show you guys some updates, some things I've picked up, show off the arena in its entirety. We actually fixed it up a little bit for MDT Live in these last few episodes, so should be really fun, man, but we're going to get into it. These damn lights are making me sweat profusely, like Jesus Christ. Now I got cold sweats. It's 3 a.m. My eyes are freaking bleeding, they feel like, so we're going to get into all the different things, man, but I, get, I, I, want, I feel like I had something else, but now I can't remember it. Maybe I'll think of it before the end of the video, man, but let's switch it around. Let's show everything off, and let's get into it. All right, man, so here we are in the MDT arena. So what you guys are going to notice immediately, like we have a few things to show off. You can't really, you may not be able to see it as good here, but you guys will notice this LED strip coming off the side of the thing here. We got it taped down right here. So this is the AEW entrance stage, and what we've done is I actually fixed it up to where you cannot see any AEW logo. So when we zoom out, guys, you guys will notice I did replace the Titan Tron with the green screen so that we can edit in any graphics that I want to. I also have a pink background behind the tunnel over there. I wanted to put a cloth little tunnel thing so that superstars could come through, but it's going to be so far back there, I'll probably have them all enter right here. Still something to figure it out. We'll have to see in editing and all those different things. But we do have the LED strip coming off the back here. I do have the red lights going. So if we cut off the lights... I don't know if I want to cut off all the lights here, but you know what? Screw it. All right, so now all that the lights are off, you guys can see the LED strip here behind Roman Reigns, and then we do have the lights up here in red, and then we have these three little under lights on the underside of the shelf. I don't know if you guys can see those right there. There's one, there's two, and then there's three right there. Got those from Hobby Lobby for like 10 bucks. I want to get more of them to line the thing right there, but I feel like it's going to give us a little bit of an extra shine when the show's going, but you guys can see the arena looks pretty damn cool with the, the red light up. I think that looks pretty epic. So we'll see what that looks like in post shish ton of lights going on right here but this is the area that always falls in the crowd right here man this spot right here always falls over and I, I have to set it up every single day so i do that i do have the guardrail set up right there i covered the aew logos here with some play sets so i didn't have to tape it or anything it looks like a base stage which is what i wanted so that'll work out for me and that thing's a lot more sturdy i've found compared to the old raw one or whatever but you go down to the ring there's the stuff and then here's me and brad over here on commentary so it's not nothing too crazy you know i just want wanted to show you guys that to show because I don't think we showed up the the updates with the lights there. Nonetheless, we got some more display options over here, man. Look how I've redone this over here. It may look identical, but I promise to God it's not. All right, so what I've done is over here, if you guys remember, the retros were different, man. The retros, I don't think that we had anything in this space. There was a big gap here. So what I had to do was take down all these retros, man. I took down every single retro that I had, and I wanted to make it where it looked uniform. I wanted that uniformity. So I put the Elias up there, and then I just kind of lined them. They're all in their defense defenders and stuff. I did order four more defenders for the retros right here for my Series 1. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Kevin Owens. I think those are the rarest ones. And they're the ones without defenders, but they are in really good condition. I don't think that any of them have any really flaws with them. They had a little bit of dust. I dusted them off, got them all clean and stuff.
up, but I do have some defenders on the way, so those will look really good when they're done. And I want to one day complete this full collection. I almost moved the whole thing, and then I said, you know what, man? Once we get a new room and basement and stuff like that for the room set up for the MDT room, I'm probably going to regret selling those, so I don't want to move them just yet. We'll have to find out. But other than that, it just looks really clean. It's really uniform now. We have like that whole side over there that's one cool collective. You got the fan shelf over here. You got some miscellaneous figures, my figure, my wife's figure, the horror champion, George Washington, Hitman, other stuff like that. Then you have the women's figure shelf and then the, the rosters, of course. And then if we bring it over to the middle, what I did with my Mattel poster, the Make Your Collection Elite poster, I want to say it was slightly to the left. You guys may not have noticed it, but it is slightly. It was like over here, but I decided to go ahead and put up my Chase figure. So I have my Chase Darby Allen, my Chase MJF, my Walmart exclusive uh, Darby Allen Luminary Sting. I say Darby Allen because it's, you know, the half face paint. And then over here, I have my one of thousand Sting that we found on the toy hunt. So I felt like that was pretty cool to see, like, you know, the big poster in the middle. And then I have the four chases on the side. And then uh, I kept all this the same. This John Cena autograph was like up here, but I moved it down. And then I got rid of the plushies. I put them in the closet. And then we kept this over here. At first, I thought I was going to take this poster and move it over here and then uh, line this whole wall with AEW figures. But then I, I realized I don't have enough defenders. I really don't want to hang figures up unless they have their defender cases. Not counting those, you know, I'm not counting those and I'm not counting these two random figures over here of Kevin Steen and Kurt Angle because those are kind of like sentimental stuff over there. But I don't have defenders for them. Anyway, I loved the way this looked, man. We have the, the four chase figures here. We got our retros going up all the way and I, I really like it. I think it creates a really uniform look, like I said. And if you stand back, man, like look at that right there. Freaking beautiful. It goes all the way up to the top. I doubt the next room that we have will have this like height of a ceiling, but I really want to commit a whole huge section to the AEW figures because, you know, we have the full mock set and stuff. So I really want to dedicate that and then, you know, you know, just really set it up nice and have everything uniform and collected because the reason this room is such a damn mess all the time is because there's no room, man. I mean, it's literally like wall to wall of figures. Look at this. There's belts. There's, there's mock collections. There's figures every damn where. This over here is my stack of extras. So I have this stack. Then I have those stacks. And then I have the closet. Then I have the arena. Then I have this closet. So two closets with the top full. And then you have all the figures wall to wall, all the shelving, all the different stuff. So, I mean, it just, it, it's just a lot, man. So I definitely need a lot more room here. I understand that a lot of people, you know, they just move their collections. Like they'll just sell off stuff that they have no room for. But that's not what I'm about, man. I don't want to do that. I want to try and do this. I want to try and be that completionist. I want to try and get every single figure that I possibly can. So you guys know that some of my goals this year is to expand the AEW collection, get some of those chase figures in here, get some epic pieces in the collection, really expand it, expand the horizons and do all that stuff, man. But that was kind of the display update. I also have some other things that I want to talk to you guys about, and we'll do that in just a moment. But if you guys did not know, Roman Reigns is in the main event of MDT Live going one-on-one -on -one with Dean Ambrose. If Dean Ambrose wins, he will be put in the matchup with Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns at the big show. It will become a triple threat match if Dean Ambrose wins. If he does not win, Dean Ambrose will be banned from the building at My Damn Nation. So the other thing that I really wanted to talk about, man, is there's actually a con coming up in Birmingham in June, and I think Trish Stratus, Lita, and Mickey James are supposed to be there, and I'm doing my best right now to try and get a guest spot or like a table set up or a vendor set up at that event. It's like Alabama Comic Con or, or like, it's it's got a kind of a weird name, or I can't think of it off the top of my head, but Trish, Lita, and Mickey James will be there, and if you guys were thinking about going to that con, I'm trying to set up at that con, so if I could possibly do that, man, I'm trying to have merch set up. I'm trying to have a whole banner and table, man, where everybody can come by. We can do the meet and greet. We can do whatever, man. So if you guys wanted to do that, I'll have way more details coming soon as we get closer to that event and, you know, more things come out and I figure out more information. But just wanted to put that out there if you guys would be interested in that. Definitely mark it in your calendar. I think it's like June 5th and 6th or 4th, 5th and 6th or something like that. Just look up Alabama Comic Con. It should be the first thing that pops up. You can meet Trish, Mickey James, Lita, and then I'm going to try to be there. And I think there may be some other wrestlers that are going to be there. We'll have to see, but I thought that would be really cool, man, if you guys wanted to do that. But that is going to pretty much wrap up this video, man. Wanted to showcase everything, kind of update you a little bit, show off the new display that took me like three hours. That display took me a minute, all right? It took me a minute, but I never got to show it off. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all the things down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like, uh, don't cross the line like my damn eyes for about to just give out. You cross the line. I've been